ready? Here we go. We got a Laura Leonard all the way from Pagosa Springs, Colorado. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us with Bandwagon TV's Joyride. And I can't ask for anything else, but look at that view. If there was a set director, I think that's the set you want in a perfect world. So thank you so much for showing us. It's gorgeous out there. Yeah, no, it's gorgeous. I'm super blessed to be out here. And I wanted to, right now, if you don't know where Pogosa Springs is, it's right on the four corners of the southwest part of Colorado. Alora, if you could, you've been extremely busy this month in July and June, and so now you're doing a Colorado tour, but I want you to tell our audience a little bit about who you are, your musical influences, and what you're up to right now uh, in Colorado. All right, perfect. So I grew up um, in South Texas, and I remember taking road trips with my dad, and we would play George Strait on repeat all the time. And so I just grew up on a lot of the classics, and I'm just playing lots of gigs, I'm getting to hang out with some friends, and I'm just, I'm just having a great time. You're from Hondo, uh, your home base, we just spoke, your home base is now in Fredericksburg. So how yes. often are you making that trip back and forth with Colorado and Texas? Right now, I'm staying in Texas a lot, and this is the first trip to Colorado that I've had in a little while. Well, fantastic. So, and then I wanted to bring up, you had a, a great EP out last year, Old Soul Girl, which hopefully, I'm, I'm, we're hoping, we're crossing our fingers that we get to hear later, and I'll let you plug a little bit about that. I wanted to get into, you are a cowgirl uh, rock star, I think. When I look at your Instagram, your social media, you have lots going on. So, uh, if you can, I want you to tell us about you competing in stock shows, and, and then also performing in them. What, how is that? It is so much fun. I, I grew up, you know, riding horses. I learned how to ride before I could walk. <laughs> and so it's something that is basically my free time. Whenever I'm not playing music, I'm out at a horse show. So that, that is when I get my break. That is, that, that's just part of who I am. And I love getting to do that. And that is part of what influenced my music so much. You have an amazing voice. And I'm sure that people tell you how mature it is, especially given your age. And I, I'm assuming you probably get that a lot. How, how did you figure out, or when, it, when was it in the point of your life where you realized, and maybe with your parents, that you could sing like this? You know, I will be perfectly honest, I was not good. <laughs> when I was six years old, it was terrible. But I think uh, I started singing my horses whenever I was about eight years old. And whenever I was at one of those rodeos, I know I was just singing to my horse and I know some of the staff heard me singing and they got me up there to sing the national anthem and I mean it's all taken on a life of its own after that and so I started performing and playing for people when I was about eight or nine years old. Wow so I mean I know like Reba McIntyre I know she started doing stock shows and doing anthems was that something similar that you were doing? Yes no it's very similar absolutely. Before we pull over the white lightning, I have to ask you this, and I am a, a guy who just, I look at all sorts of fashion styles from all artists and really walk of life, and you have some of the coolest pair of bell-bottom jeans, and I wanted to, I wanted to ask, but I gotta, this is a, this is a, before we get into the lightning round, it is a, gonna be a lightning round type of question. I noticed though, but you also, I guess it's part of the rodeo culture, you know, you tuck in your jeans into your boots. So, are you one to, like, if you have to perform on stage, would you rather wear one of your cool pair of bell-bottom jeans, or are you one to tuck in and, you know, fit in with everyone else and, and tuck in your jeans? Oh, bell-bottoms all the way. <laughs> I'm just curious, do you have a, a Levi sponsor yet? Or, cause you're gonna need one. Oh, I am crossing my fingers. I know my favorite store in the world is Big Barn. And I'm just crossing my fingers that one day, <laughs> they'll, they'll just see me wearing all their stuff. But okay. no, I'm hoping maybe one sponsorship, that would be awesome. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna work on this because I like I want a boot bar and sponsor too. So whether it's with Wrangler or Levi, you and I, Alora and Nick, we are looking for a sponsor. Anyone listening out there, we need one. I want free merchandise, free clothes. And I love a good pair of bell bottoms. Alright, here we go. I I do, I love them. Alright, so <laughs> bring back the 70s. Alright, here we go. We're gonna pull over the white lightning. I hope you're ready because I, I, it's it's always the best part of the interview. All right, so we're gonna pull over, uh, and while we're doing this, I wanted to ask you, Laura, uh, for a, right now during 
the, the few last seasons in, in this current season, we've been plugging local businesses. We I find that they go hand in hand with independent artists, musicians. And, uh, and so I wanted to ask you, do you have a local business that you want to plug with us today? I do. Um, Bend General Store, I and they are out of Bend, Texas, right there by the Colorado River. And they have been so supportive of me and my music. They're such a great venue, and they're like a second family. The staff is amazing, and Brett, who's the owner, is absolutely amazing. And I would just love to see them take off. I know he, Brett totally thinks outside the box. They just opened a new location, and he's wanted to get a pool out there, you know, poolside bar, their event. And so I'm just looking forward to see how that business is going to grow. He is a fantastic owner, manager. I mean, he does, and he's so personable. If you ever do see him at their location at, at Bend, or, you know, they're, they're building this uh, new location in Lomita. He's just the friendliest guy. Uh, great. Also, big fans, wife and I, my whole family, they love the hamburgers. The burgers are delicious. So if you ever make it out there, you got to have one. Okay. Yeah, best food. Uh, it's the best. Okay. And a great atmosphere too. I mean, you can stay there, you can camp, you can just hang out, listen to live music. And it's so laid back. I've even had some of their chickens jump up on stage with me. It's hilarious. I get a kick out of it every time. It's so, so much fun. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you very much for sharing. Uh, we're also promoting uh, right now, currently, Young's Barbecue and More on our website. So please, if uh, you are watching, check out our website at bandwagontv.com. Bandwagontv.com. We're also posting past interviews, episodes, as well as podcasts. So now we're entering the lightning round, and you have a, a few different lyrics in, in the single that you had, Old Soul Girl. And I, I wanted to ask you this question because we're riding in the white lightning, so which is a Ford. But in the song, you mention a Silverado. So I need to ask you are you Ford or Chevy? Definitely Chevy. Oh Chevy. my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. We're going to kick you out now. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So you're the first person to say Chevy. Now, we've had this question, I wouldn't say a lot, maybe three or four different times, but you're the first. So now you're ultimately a Chevy, you know, you're repping Chevy. Chevy's also going to need a spot. Uh, you're going to be needing a sponsor by Chevy. So I hope you get a Silverado out of this. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. Okay, like I mentioned before, you, you perform and you compete in stock shows. But I wanted to ask you, would you rather compete in a stock show or perform in a stock show? That's a tough question. I mean, there are great things to both. But if I had to be honest, I would probably enjoy performing at a stock show, if I'm perfectly honest. Is the adrenaline the same? Yes, I would say the adrenaline is very similar. But I mean, I know that I grew up going to the San Antonio Stop Show and Rodeo, and that was where I watched my first concert. And so it has been one of my, it's been on my bucket list to go play there one day, for sure. And so that, I think that's part of it, it's just the, the thrill of that. I think that's something that I would really enjoy getting to do one day. Yeah, I, I anyways, just looking at your social media, Please, we're going to plug your social media here in a minute, but just such a great follow and watching you perform and compete. I, that was the first question that came into my and popped into my mind was, what would you rather do? Because I see great things out of both. I, so I appreciate you thinking that was hard because it was supposed to be. No, it's definitely, definitely difficult. And I know that was one thing that I had to figure out was, do I enjoy competing more or performing more? And so, which not. Uh, Thank God that I'm able to kind of mesh those two together and be able to get the best of both worlds in that. Yeah, very cool. All right, you're not driving the White Lightning because we don't want you in the White Lightning because you don't like Fords, but you're driving your Chevy Silverado coast to coast and you need a co-pilot. Musician, dead or alive, who do you got? I would have to take Dolly Parton. I mean, I feel like if that we got stuck on the side of the road, <laughs> I feel like she, you know, that she could help me. I mean, I'm not sure about the nails, <laughs> but I feel like she would be super handy and we could just carpool karaoke all the way around, around the country. That would be so much fun. <laughs> Has she been on carpool karaoke? I, I don't know. I'm waiting for them to put her on there. Oh, wow. That would be great. That would be an amazing episode. 
Yes, it absolutely would. Yeah, I, would. Oh, I love that answer. That's a great answer, and especially she's gonna help you if you if the truck, you know, because it is a Chevy, it's gonna break down on the side of the road, and you're gonna need to to hitch a ride. She is definitely gonna be able to help you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Dolly Parton's looking through your phone, through a playlist. Is she gonna find something that's gonna surprise all of us or maybe even embarrass you? Probably. So one thing that surprises a lot of people is that I'm a big fan of musical theater. I love Broadway shows and so don't be surprised if you find songs from like Les Miserables or you have to find gravity in there somewhere. <laughs> I love musical theater, 100%. I am a theater kid. <laughs> oh, very cool. Okay, so, and then, like, how about Hamilton? I mean, are you able to rap like that? Uh, I can't say that I rap like that, but <laughs> I will gladly admire people that can do that. I wish I could. Okay, I'm with you on that one. I, I love show tunes. <laughs> okay, hey, that was fantastic. So good. Thank you so much for participating in the lightning round. But I want to put this on you, Laura. I, I need you to plug what you have going on. What do we have to look forward to from you this year in 2021? We just released uh, my single, Old Soul Girl, out onto Texas radio. So that is one thing that is super exciting. And I'm just please download it on Spotify and Apple Music and any streaming platform. That would be amazing. And once I get back to Texas, I'm going to be doing a radio tour throughout there. And so I'm super excited about that. And I'm definitely going to be playing in Texas at some of the venues they're in the hill country a lot so those are some really exciting things that i'm super pumped about yeah you have so much going on and, and you're a singer songwriter i mean how is it you're 17 how is it writing songs like this i mean i just look at you and i'm like wow this is amazing coming from you already at your young life personally first and foremost i love performing but i'm also a songwriter and i just love being able to tell a story because for me being a 17 year old and doing what i do I feel like that I can bring a lot to the table. I feel like I've got another another point of view that maybe some people wouldn't think about. And so that's just one thing that I think is super great about doing what I do. Yeah, you're very talented, and I know that we're going to hear more from you this these upcoming years. But I want you to tell our audience, how do we follow, how do we listen to you? So you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, and if you just look up Allure Leonard Music, you can find me on there. I also have a website, AlloreLeonardMusic.com, and you can see where I'm playing next and purchase Old Soul Girl on there, and yep. Oh. <laughs> that find me. <laughs> you got the whole gambit. Allura Leonard, it's been such a pleasure having you, and please go follow her, YouTube, everything. I mean, she's very talented, coming from the Hill Country. I know you're, like I said, Hondo, but now you're in Fredericksburg. We know you up here because you were helping out with the Ben General store up in Lomita, which is up the road here from Lampasas, but we just wanted to tell you thank you, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. All right, so now we're going to have to let you go. And I, you, I mean, you're busy. You're in Colorado. You're doing tens of millions of things out in Pagosa Springs. But all we ask is for a song. Can we get a song? Can we get your hot single that just was released on Texas radio? Absolutely. Before we play it, because we're going to play the video, and this video is done very well. Please tell us a little bit about it before we let you go. Thank you. I really appreciate that. So we got to record, we got to video the recording process while we were out there in Tennessee. And so you'll see some clips from the recording studio, and that was a to a, an absolute blast. And we also did some recording out here at our place in Colorado. And so you, you get a little bit of a, a mix of both worlds. Yeah, it's done very well. You should be very proud. I watched it a couple times. Done very well. So uh, congratulations. Huge. And it's a great song, too. Lots of fun. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. This is Alora Leonard, Old Soul Girl. Thank you so much. And, uh, you know, we hope to see you soon. Stock Show San Antonio. Here we come. <laughs> yes, sir. Sounds like a great plan. All right, Alora. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you.
might take a picture, love Cause this could be our lucky day Oh yeah, you might take a picture, love Cause this could be our lucky day